So here we have to prove that the left hand side, which is cos inverse 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 12 by 13, that is equal to the right hand side, which is cos inverse 33 by 65. Now, therefore, the so in the left hand side, suppose if uh, if we take cos inverse 4 by 5, that is equal to x. And if we take cos inverse of 12 by 13, that is equal to y, then we have cos x equal to 4 by 5 and cos y that is equal to 12 by 13. So now we know that cos of x plus y, cos of x plus y is cos x cos y, cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y. So from here, we need to find values of sin x and sin y. So therefore, sin x will be equal to square root of 1 minus cos square x, which is 16 by 25. That is equal to square root of 9 by 5, that is 3 by 5. And similarly, sin y, that is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square y, which is 12 square 144 by 169, which is so 25 by 169, which is 5 by 13. So therefore, that will be equal to cos x, which is 4 by 5, into cos y, 12 by 13, minus sin x, 3 by 5, into sin y, which is 5 by 13. So that will be equal to, so if I take the LCM as 65, so that will be 12 for the 48 minus 15, so that is 33 by 65. So now, therefore, on the left hand side, which is equal to cos inverse of 4 by 5 plus cos inverse 12 by 5. That is equal to x plus y actually. Since we took this as x, this is y. So from here we got cos x, cos of x plus y, we got it as 3, 33 by 65. So therefore x plus y, that will be cos inverse of 33 by 65. So therefore, x plus y we got that will be equal to cos inverse of 33 by 65, which is equal to the right hand side, hence proved. So hope you have understood the concept. Thank you.